Hi, I'm going to be describing how the process of proton-boron fusion will work to generate power in a focused fusion reactor. This is a simple version of what the reactor sensor looks like from the top. To explain how it works, first I'll go through this one-to-one -one diagram. This is what it would look like from the side. This is the cathode. And this is the anode. When a very high voltage is applied between them, a filament composed of hydrogen boron plasma passes between the two, something like what happens in a plasma ball. When the filament gets to the end, it continues traveling up and around the anode. Right, now let's see what would happen in the real thing. Again, the filaments travel up and over the anode. But when they move to the inside, something interesting happens. They begin to twist as they move further along. As they continue to twist, a knot called a plasmoid forms. The filaments continue to twist and force the plasmoid to compress to the point where it's infinitesimally small and reaches an internal temperature of 1 billion degrees. This is when the fusion occurs. This shows what happens when a proton fuses with a boron-11 nucleus. They combine to form a carbon-2 nucleus, which has so much energy, it breaks up into three helium-4 nuclei. In the brief period of time where the plasmoid exists, it releases energy primarily in the form of a, of a helium ion beam, but also as x-rays and electrons. The energy of the ion beam is extracted in a way that is similar to a reverse particle accelerator. One night to be confused, one night to speed up truth. We had a promise made for hands and then a both under influence. We had a divine sense to know what to say. Mind is a resume. To call for hands of above. To lean on wouldn't be good enough for me now. One night of magic rush. The start a simple touch One night to push and scream And then really Ten days of perfect tunes The colors red Thanks for listening. For more information go to www.focusfusion.org